We are set for baseball here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's the Wake Forest Demon Deacons against the West Virginia Mountaineers in the championship game. This is game six of seven possible. If Wake wins tonight, the regional's over. If West Virginia wins tonight, there will be a seventh and deciding game tomorrow. Even though we're at Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons will bat first as the road team in this ball game. And keep your eye on the middle of this lineup that has produced as well as any in the country. Take a little bit of thought when you're in a ballpark and, and who's the road team, who's the home team. And so this is Wake's home field. They should feel at home, but they get first licks here tonight. And that's a one out single for Jake Mueller. Hot shot right back at DJ Myers on the mound. Think about this. Just this Friday afternoon, 5.2 innings, four hits, one base on ball, one strikeout through 77 pitches, face 22 hitters. So does he have it to come back tonight? I guess we'll find out early. And when it's single elimination for you, it's all hands on deck. And this afternoon, had to go to the bullpen for the Mountaineers. So how many arms do they have left down that first base line? Flipped around, so Harvey will work behind the plate. Oh, DJ. You're not coming, babe. Hey, boy. Drive, left field, base hit. Mueller will score. Sheets slams on the brakes at second. It's an RBI single for Ben Brazil, the senior from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. <laughs> Brazil, let's see where this pitch is located. Again, it's that tailing fastball. It doesn't try to pull it. That's typically going to get you a weak contact and a ground ball. And he takes it in the left field and drives in the first important run of this ball game. And for the second time in as many innings, Jake Mueller will come up and take his chances against Myers. He singled, stole a base, and scored the first run of the ball game last inning. Mueller's a sophomore from Columbia, South Carolina, and he takes a strike out of Richland Northeast High School. Second team all ACC. Well, based on your formula, John, that uh, as you turn around a pitcher based on the hours and the pitches, I mean, he pitched all those innings Friday afternoon. It's now Sunday evening, so what, maybe 50 pitches, 55 pitches would be reasonable? I think so, yeah. That's what, it, depending on your efficiency, getting through. Well, it's gonna be even tougher here. That's his 42nd pitch. It's an RBI double by Mueller. Harvey scores to make it four to one, Wake Forest. Mueller with his second hit again. Wake Forest offense tonight playing more station to station rather than the long ball. But what they're doing is most of the hits that they're getting are opposite way. Not trying to do too much with it again. Just delivering it to the opposite field and moving the guy along. And with that, that one sneaks down the line for a double and another run scores. Austin in third. Need your baby. I'll be there. You gotta be pulled up. The 77th pitch by Myers, bunted to third. Yeah. Austin has no play and the bases are full. They give him a base hit on the bunt. What a great effort. Austin playing in at third base, still not able to get there in time as he was hustling down the line. Even with a good throw, I don't know if he had a chance to get him. Delivered over the right field fence. Driven deep to left. There it goes. A grand slam by Fairchild. Well, I'd say he's figured him out. pass in as many innings. Oh, 
Jake Mueller, a perfect three for three, singled and scored in the first, doubled in a run in the second, and then a bunt single and a run scored in the fourth. That average climbs up to 358. Strike one. Checking out Cole Austin down at third base. After that bunt last time, you'd think Austin would maybe take a couple steps forward, just beyond the third base bag there. He knows any given time, Mueller could lay one down. Snap throw. They very nearly got Jonathan Pryor. It's a free pass down to second base on the wild pitch from Shane Ennis. And how about that? You're inches away from getting him picked off, and then he finds his way down to second base. And you're right. Sigh of relief for Pryor as he's standing in that second base bag. Wake Forest, if anything we've seen over the last couple of days, they've been picked off a few times on the bases. Maybe some mental mistakes there. Outside of that, they haven't made a whole lot, both defensively or at the plate. Now the one-two pitch. Two and two to Mueller. We get word that Colin Palouse, right-hander, is warming in the Wake Forest bullpen. Ripped to right center field. A perfect four for four night for Jake Mueller. They'll hold up the runner at third, and Wake's got runners on the corners. Mueller having a night, as you say, four for four now, a hanging breaking ball by Ennis that time, and Mueller just deposited out in right center field. Thought Pryor had a chance to score there. They got on it pretty quick, and had to hold him up late down Tom Walter, gave him the stop sign at the last minute. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Wake Forest onto the Super Regionals in convincing fashion. There's the dog pile right on the mound. Wake Forest picks up an impressive victory. Final score 12 to 8. In impressive fashion, too. 16 hits. They beat the ball all over the ballpark tonight against a staff from West Virginia that gave their entire heart. And just didn't have enough pitching left to fight against this very awesome offense for Wake Forest. But what a valiant effort by West Virginia and another step closer to their goals in the future, and that's getting to Super Regionals in the College World Series. Well, congratulations to UMBC, to Maryland, and to West Virginia for providing the opposition, but ultimately the folks here in Winston-Salem got what they wanted to see. The Demon Deacons survive in advance. There's a chance Wake Forest could be hosting Super Regionals next week. Got to see what happens tomorrow between Florida and Bethune-Cookman. Either way, the Demon Deacons know they'll be playing next week for a chance to go to Omaha.